Oh, now, ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here, and today we're going to be going over how to remote play on your PlayStation 4. This will be a full tutorial, downloading the application and going through the settings and all that good juicy stuff. So, we'll start off with the following of what you need. The PlayStation 4, of course, you need a computer to do this. Um, specs on what you need for your computer will be in the video description. Definitely go check that out. You need a DualShock 4 wireless controller with the USB cable that comes with it. If it, if you don't have one, you will need a USB cable uh, to connect your PlayStation 4 controller to your PC. You will need a PlayStation Network account if you haven't already created one um, a, and you have a PlayStation 4. I'm not sure how you're doing anything but you will need a PlayStation Network account. High-speed internet connection is recommended uh, of upload speeds and download speeds of at least 12 megabits per second. Now, this is very important and this is going to affect your gameplay. Um, you will probably have to drop resolution if you have a lower speed and I'll show you how to drop the resolution and all that good juicy stuff in just a second. Like I said, PC specs and even Mac specs will be in the video description. The first thing you're going to want to do is hook up your PlayStation 4 controller to your computer with the USB cable. Want to turn on your PlayStation 4, you're going to want to turn on your PC and let's get right into the next step of what you need to do. So the next step you want to do is once you're on the PlayStation 4, go into your settings as you guys are seeing right now and then go down to where it says remote play connection settings once you're in there you're going to want to make sure that you enable remote play if you guys don't already have it enabled make sure that's checked off uh, because this is very important next up you're going to want to go to the website which i will link you to in the video description as well you're going to want to click on uh windows if you're using windows mac if you're using Mac and just follow the prompts it's really easy really simple download and then install as you guys are seeing on the screen right here next up it's gonna ask for your PlayStation Network ID uh, I'll skip this one and go back into it so we're gonna launch the Romo play app now that it is downloaded um, so that way you guys can see we'll go into the settings right now video quality you can change it uh, to whatever you want we're actually gonna be using 720p for the video purposes we'll change the frame rate to the highest which uh, standard is 30 frames per second and uh, higher is uh, 60 frames per second uh, so we're actually connecting to the PlayStation 4 right now um, as you guys can see it is connected I'm waiting for my control okay now my controller is turned on and we're playing and uh, it actually looks pretty cool I wanted to to not only capture uh, the gameplay but I wanted to capture the computer screen so that way you guys can see that indeed I am using the remote play feature uh, I'm gonna let the rest of the video play out you know it's not the greatest gameplay in the world I just decided you know what let's pop in Star Wars Battlefront because the game looks beautiful and it'll show off you know some of the remote play oh you saw that little glitch there that was uh, that was actually uh, remote play because uh, when I reviewed both of the recordings because I was recording my gameplay on the PlayStation 4 and uh, using the OBS software to record this at the same time when I compared them um, that that actually didn't happen in the game where my character turned its head uh, but other than that when I reviewed it everything was good everything was fluid um, you know my gaming is, my uh, aiming isn't the best in this but um, as you guys can see we both we both died uh, that was a fair kill fair death uh, but yeah I'm gonna let the rest of this video play out let me know what you guys think about remote play in the comment section below will you guys be using this feature I'm actually really excited because if ever I go on vacation I don't need to haul my PlayStation 4 in order to game. I can just bring my laptop and uh, a DualShock 4 controller. Um, I do recommend using uh, rest mode if you guys are planning on using uh, this feature. Because if you're in rest mode and uh, let's say you're out somewhere and you want to connect uh, via remote play, you can connect anywhere in the world as long as you have your, your laptop uh 
or whatever PC or Mac you're using, you can connect anywhere in the world, and as long as it's on rest mode, it will turn on and you'll be good to go. Um, and then uh, you can access, you know, the PlayStation home screen and go through everything and do all that good juicy stuff. So, anyways, that's it for me. Hope this uh, tutorial and uh, showed off some of the gameplay helped you guys out a lot. I've been getting a lot of requests to do. Uh, a remote play tutorial. I apologize if I don't sound up to par. Um, I'm I just got a cold and it freaking sucks. Look at freaking, is that Han Solo down there? Is that, or is that Luke Skywalker? I think that's Luke Skywalker. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, I'm getting over this nasty cold. So if you would leave a like, hit a subscribe. I will see you guys in the next news update.